Hey Reliance, it's Jacob here. I had this crazy thought, but the Lord reminded me of something about Him. He's super creative and He made me, He made each one of us to be creative like Him. In Ephesians, in the Bible, in Ephesians 2.10, it says, for we are His workmanship created in Christ Jesus for doing good works, which God prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. So all this to say, we simply see that the Lord, the creator of heaven and earth, is the creator of you and I, and He gives license to each and every one of us to create, and it's incredible. For example, for me, I love to create music. Oh, this quarantine's got me feeling like I'm all by myself All by myself Don't wanna be all by myself I don't wanna be all by myself tonight Here's the thing, in order for us to know our creative value, we first have to catch a glimpse and we have to look at our master maker for guidance. You get where I'm going with this? For example, when we look back at creation, the, the beginning of the world, I don't know about you, I see some creative principles that God operates by. For example, first thing I think the Lord operates by, or I'll just list all three. I think he operates in wonder, I think there's process, and then lastly, I think there's delight. In everything that his hands create, he does these three things. Here's my proof. Ephesians 1 verses 4 and 5 says, Just as he chose us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love, having predestined us to adoption as sons by Jesus Christ to himself, according to the good pleasure of his will. So what this is saying, you were thought on God's mind well before creation existed. He wondered about you and therefore out of that wonder decided to bring you into existence. Okay, now let's talk about process. God makes the world in how many days? Six days, seven days, right? He, God's fully capable of making the world in one day. We all believe that, we all know that. But for some reason, He chooses to go by process. And we see that each day gets more extravagant and more exquisite than the day before. And lastly, I believe God's third delight or third principle of creation is delight. After every single thing that the master maker creates, he says it's what? Very good. Going back to our verse in Ephesians 2.10, it says, for we are his workmanship created for good works. The New Living Translation says, we are his masterpiece. I don't know if you've let that just captivate the wonder of your heart for a minute, but you were created, the Lord put every, you were made in His image. Nothing else on earth looks like you. There's only one of you. There's only ever been one of you and there only ever will be one of you. There's something special about you that the Lord put of Himself into you. And that's creativity. He's so creative with you and He wants to use you in your creativity to be a vessel for His glory. Look, now we're in a time, I believe, that it's time to get more creative than ever. So below, or above, depending on which social media platform you're streaming this from, I want you to look at these questions and talk through these discussion topics with your family. Wonder, create the, the creative principles of God, which I believe are also the creative principles we operate by. Wonder, process, and delight. And again, I'll just finish with this. We were created in Jesus for good works. Did you know the reason God brought you forth into existence was for His glory? I wanna challenge you in the coming weeks to use your creative potential for the glory of God because that's why you exist. Have a great day, guys.